What is going on, guys? Noon here with Will Play, bringing you a first look into Skyforge's Crucible of the Gods update. Now, with this update, um, it's the first major update upon the game being in closed, or not closed beta, my bad, open beta, which uh, brings a lot of different things to the game, which is really, really nice. Now, this update brings a lot of stuff that pretty much uh, makes the game feel more complete of an MMORPG. It brings the ascended forms of each classes, which is really, really nice. Um, which is basically the upgraded powerful version. Uh, each class gets a short duration of, um, you know, a super version of the class to increase DPS and skills and other stuff like that, which is uh, really, really good for you know, running dungeons, open world areas, which uh, also brings me to new open world areas and missions to run, which is very, very nice to see. Now, I wasn't too sure if there was a lack of uh, missions to run, but they did offer some more open world areas for you to take on quests and, you know, party up with people if you choose to run solo. Either way, they do offer more open world areas for you to, uh, you know, continue questing and explore and other stuff like that. As well as raiding for endgame, which is uh, really, really nice to see. Kind of gives you something to do at endgame other than just keep running dungeons and various missions and other stuff like that. I mean, this update is uh, it's very, very nice. It's added some new stuff for basically anybody who's uh, just joining the game. New ascended forms for each class, various bug fixes and class balancing and other stuff like that, as well as uh, some of the stuff for endgame, which is really, really nice to see. So, upon playing the game, just uh, jumping right into it, it runs very, very nice and it's very, very smooth. I mean, as you can see here, this is uh, we're in the observatory and this is where we can go to run different missions and other stuff like that, which is really, really cool. And they've added more to this upon, um, you know, the more you progress into the game, which is really cool. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into a, a squad mission, which is kind of like a multiplayer dungeon area to kind of test out the combat and other stuff like that, you know, see if there's any bugs, which uh, there should be because they did fix some bugs and maybe see some of the ascended versions of the classes. So we're going to go ahead and jump into a group finder and, um, you know, hopefully we'll find a good group and we'll jump right into it. All right, guys. So jumping right into the dungeon, uh, I wanted to skip the uh, the wait time for a group finder in kind of the first half of the dungeon because it was just kind of running mobs in. The dungeon is a very is a little bit uh, lengthy, and I didn't want the video to run on too long. I just wanted you guys to get a general overview of you know basically how the game works since it's been updated. And I gotta say, it works very very nice. The combat is very smooth. Everything's super responsive. The skills are flashy. The classes just feel great, and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. So as you can see here, I'm running through this dungeon, you can see we're fighting some enemies, I got two, uh, two paladins with me over here, so it's kind of nice having two tanks, I don't have to worry about taking any damage, because they just take the front, the, the basically the full frontal force of the DP, or the damage that the enemies do, you know, kind of sharing the aggro, which is really, really nice, I, could, I just get to stay back and, you know, just lay on the DPS, which is cool. So we're continuing on over here, we just fought a, you know, just fought a mini boss, and basically continuing on making progress towards the boss at the end now there should be another mini boss right up here i believe i'm gonna go ahead and fight this thing and i gotta say like the game runs very very nice i've enjoyed it quite a bit so far and i gotta say the updates that they have brought to the game um i gotta say they're really really nice it makes the game feel more as a whole especially adding the end game rating which is awesome to see and uh the ascended forms of each class which is super helpful because uh these paladins get to ascend and uh, turn into these greater forms to help, uh, you know, with the tanking and the DPS. Now, I have not acquired the uh, the Ascended form yet because I'm still pretty early on in this, uh, this class, but I will obtain it eventually, and it is obtainable for everyone just by, uh, you know, basically playing through and continuing on with your class and following the Pantheon. Now, the Pantheon is also super important. The more you play the game, you'll unlock skill points, and you just keep progressing and making your class stronger, as you can see over here. But enough of that as you can see it's very straightforward and simple to follow the more you play the class you'll obtain everything along to over time but uh we got to focus on this boss over here and overall we'll do a pretty good job i mean our teammates are not taking too much damage and i get to lay on the heavy dps which is nice with my like, cool fun flashy skills let's go ahead and uh hopefully take this guy out yep not too much of a challenge we got to finish him right up and pick up our drops acquire some loot Oh, loose it right over here. Picked it up, got some money, which is nice to see. Can't go wrong with that. And continue on and fight the boss at the end. Now, we're almost halfway through. We've got a few mobs to go through and fight the boss. But, I mean, overall, with this team comp that we're running with, it's, uh, it works very, very nicely. Especially with these paladins, and uh, they have a good amount of AoE, as well as my AoE. We're clearing pretty fast. Let's 
go ahead and continue on, take these enemies out, freeze them here and there. I don't know what happened to our other tank. Ah, oh, he has to go. That's alright, no big deal. But uh, we can kind of continue on with the current Paladin. We already have one as long as she tanks and I can deal the DPS. We should be just fine, shouldn't have too much trouble with it. Let's go ahead and keep kiting. And I gotta say, I really like the kiting ability of the mages in this game or pretty much any caster class, you're able to move, run around, and cast your skills at the same time. It makes the survivability of these classes much, much better, and a lot of fun to use at that, because, you know, it's not just stick and shoot and, you know, cast your spells, you can run along, you know, engage in the fight, dodge attacks, and while still laying on the DPS, which is great. So let's go ahead and continue on. Pick up our loot. Pick this up, got a little bit of a heal, which is nice to see. We're going to go ahead and take these enemies out. I'm going to go ahead and place down my big AoE right here. Deal a good amount of damage to help out with the lack of uh, our single, our other uh, tank slash DPS over there. So go ahead and take these guys out. Wasn't too much trouble at all. But I had to blow a cooldown for that. But I mean, we should get it back by the time we have to fight the boss. So it shouldn't be too bad as long as our friend over here can keep tanking. We should be just fine. Go ahead and just keep staying back and keep keeping on the DPS. And if they come close, we can kind of just kite them, run away, lay down some more ice skills for them. Like I say, she's already pretty strong herself, so it's uh, it helps quite a bit. Guess we don't need a full party of three. I mean, I think we can get by with just two. But I mean, overall, we're doing pretty good. But I am taking quite a bit of damage, which kind of uh, kind of sucks. And I hope we won't uh, won't be too much trouble while fighting the boss. Go ahead and uh, kite over here. Freeze him a little bit. Keep dealing the damage. Keep dodging him. I don't know where her tank left. She just left me. Which uh, kind of sucks. What is she doing over there? Okay, we're going to go ahead and deal with this enemy. I have, like, no health. So, oh, and we died. That's okay. The enemy's going to go over to the tank over there. And I believe we could just respawn. Okay, guys, so here we are back after just dying. And uh, I don't want to watch you guys having to run through all of that again. We're going to go ahead and fight the boss. And uh, we did have a tank to go in there and basically just AFK on us and die. So now I have running into the boss once again with uh, Healer over here. Hopefully she'll support me well. And we'll be able to kill this boss fairly easily. So we got to take out these control panels. Make sure uh, we take out all the enemies. Well, hopefully not taking on too much damage, which would be uh, which would be nice. Hopefully we can get through it and prove that maybe we don't need a tank. Alright, oh, so the tank is back. It seems like her internet randomly cut. That's alright, no big deal. I think we can get through this boss with uh, me and the support over here. We just gotta lay on the DPS and she's gonna shield me, which will be very, very nice. And I think we'll be able to get through it very easily, so. So far it's not seeming like it's too much of a challenge. I am taking a little bit of damage, but that's alright. Not too much to worry about. Oh, and there we go, the boss is up. I'm going to go ahead and lay down my large AoE. Kite it a little bit, lay down my big ice skills, and I think we might be able to take out this boss really, really quickly. And as you can see, the skills are very flashy in this game, and i got to say, I love playing a mage because it's just so much fun. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. A few more ice skills. Call down some more ice on him. And then there we go, he's almost dead. Kill the adds, which shouldn't be too much trouble. And I gotta say, this is a very impressive support. She did a great job pretty much supporting me and let me do the damage. And she didn't do too bad damage herself, and there we go, that was a successful clear. Now with the new expansion for the game, or the new update, I think they've done a great job with it. And um, I enjoy it quite a bit, the game still runs very smoothly. I like that they have added more to it. The game has a little bit more to offer now being an open beta in probably some more to come once the game goes into full release but if you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more but until next time guys i'll talk to you later